Yeah, the screen is visible, uh, uh, Prabhakaran. Have you checked? Oh yes, sir. The PPT was visible a few minutes before. Visible, na? Okay, okay, okay. We'll start in another two minutes. You can use the mail. I sent to mail. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Gopal has already joined. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am happy to invite everyone for this uh, wonderful program on uh, interior. Uh, project management fit out series fit out uh, project management series on behalf of uh, cmta uh, i would welcome everyone for this wonderful program the, uh, i request uh, prabhakaran to introduce the keynote speaker to the audience yes sir thank you uh audience uh, gopal sir uh, actually uh, we are in zoom meeting and audience are in uh, youtube live also so both the channels we are using uh, mr niranjan uh, this is for your note also in youtube around 100 plus people are uh, 135 people are there and its numbers are getting increased yeah yes sir uh, good afternoon to one and all present here myself prabhakaran uh, doing my third year civil engineering from ssn college of engineering chennai and i on behalf of cmti are pleased to welcome today's speaker for the webinar Mr Gopal Dwari Mr Gopal Dwari is an assistant vice president at Live Space he completed his BSc in statistics mathematics and economics from Mohanlal Sukarya University and contributed as center director at NIIT from 2001 to 2005 he has an immense experience over interiors industry especially in the area of modular kitchen where he served as a vice president of Sleek International for 5 years He was also served as a deputy general manager at H&R Johnson's India Limited and business head at Hindware Home Retail Private Limited and Hetik India Private Limited. He has also received the Kitchen Professional of the Year award by Indian Kitchen Congress for the years 2014 and 2019. His specialties include modular kitchen business management, startup and turnaround specialty assignment, business strategy and analytics, best uh, design development, training and training modular development. we are pleased to have you for today's session sir now the platform is yours thank you thank you prabhakar for a nice introduction introduction about uh, mr gopal uh, mr gopal this is around 6 uh, days series continuously we will be giving an education on uh, uh, the project management scope available in the interior industry uh, on behalf of construction management training institute i welcome all the audience who are available who are is not uh, having the link i am getting some messages also i am going to share our team is going to share no worries we are recording this uh, version also it is available in youtube channel called uh, cmta connect you can uh, connect uh, the objective of the program is uh, there is uh, actually the uh, industry is growing like anything our experts are going to say about this uh, in uh, today's session mainly there is a demand and uh, there is a lot of people searching for jobs so, so to create an awareness we wanted to do this uh, session uh, for the benefit of audience and uh, for the benefit of the industry and uh, for the benefit of the employers also uh, i welcome mr gopal to take over thank you sir hello everybody am i audible yes sir yes sir please yeah uh, thank you thank you uh, mr ashok for giving me the opportunity uh, to being with you and uh, yeah definitely it's an honor to you know talk to such a great audience and people who want to know about this industry so yes as explain i almost completed uh, more than 15 years into this industry and i think uh, it's a the 15 years is seems a good time to you know uh, uh, to learn something and then to share back to the people to whom you learn and to new students and all together so i think yeah this is a time uh, where i can you know come back to you guys and 
share my experience about this industry but uh, let's first talk about what exactly the industry the interior industry is normally most of the time it seems like it's a very unorganized because uh, you don't get the proper numbers that if somebody asks you that what is the industry interior industry size of the india okay because this this is not in you know um, session where uh, i can talk to you guys so just an, uh, just for a wild guess if you are not aware uh, just i just want to tell you that almost 5 lakh new home comes every every year in india it's a big number it's a very big number for an industry so the 5 lakh new homes bring a lot of different kind of work and uh, you know uh, people industry material uh, management all these things so the whole interior industry is i am just talking about the new i am even not talking about the renovation the renovation has a similar number maybe or maybe a different number but i am just telling you that every year the 5 lakh new homes bring a lot of requirement into this industry and if i just want to give you a little bit idea about the numbers it is almost like 1 lakh 1 lakh 85000 crore indian rupees per annum which is the equivalent size of the business of Uh, the in interior industries in india it is a huge industry it is almost like 25 billion us dollars industry of the interiors and this number which i am telling you is uh, all together you know com com combine numbers of organized and unorganized uh, uh, numbers so i'll explain you what is the meaning of organized and what is the meaning of organized later on but yeah specifically in the interior the 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 area which i belongs to or where i learn or i can say i have a little little bit expertise now after 15 years of the understanding and keep learning into this industry the industry itself is known as a modular or the panel manufacture or the factory fitted or there are a lot of name but it's more more of little more of you know it's a modular uh, component or modular furniture industry where the lot of modular products which one can manufactures in factories and with the use of lot of new technology and design softwares so these kind of softwares is a little bit more organized numbers and the industry itself is almost equivalent to 10 billion 10 us billion us dollars which is in indian rupees i cannot say almost like 74000 crore rupees of the per annum industry size to serve this industry the 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 major problem is that the industry is so big but uh, the industry has not do not has a, you know a good manpower or the educated manpower or the people who actually required in this industry so this is a very big gap in you know the opportunity and the the fulfillment of the opportunity which is available to the market and for the guys people like you who are into the education of these kind of uh, subjects this is a very good time to move into such kind of industries and learn about all these things if i just talk about an kitchen and wardrobe which is a basically a purely modular fit out markets it is uh, in year 19 to 2019 in the, if just talk about the top india's 36 cities which are you can say metros and ta2 cities the the business volume was almost like 37000 crore rupees and it is it is yearly by year it is going by 12.5% cagr so the growth is also too good and the numbers are also too good so and and even uh, if you uh, because you guys are you know from lot of guys are from bangalore chennai all all are like you know comes into the metro cities so in the six major metro cities of the india contribute almost 70% of this um, kitchen and wardrobe fit out business which i am talking about which is 37000 rupees so 37000 crore rupees the out of that 70% business came from the six metro cities and the rest of the business start coming the 30% is from the rest of the cities of the india now you just need to imagine that the only six major uh, metro cities contribute so much of the big business in this field the rest of the 30 countries are slowly growing they are they are developing the understanding about the modular kitchen modular wardrobe so the the future is actually very good the future is too good the, there is a lot of space available into this market and there is a lot of gap is right now which one can feel even if you are going to be an entrepreneur if you are going to be an uh, manufacturer or if you are going to be an 
person who is you know doing the project management installation designing everything there's a huge opportunity available and that the opportunity one can grab into this market now somebody can simply ask that uh, what are the application of the modular uh, modular industries product like how these are these are the uh, useful in compared to the standard interiors so where this uh, model of fit out and uh, furniture uh, goes into this market the the maximum application is right now you can say it is in in the home in interiors so if you talk about the most popular segment out of this is the modular kitchen now a modular kitchen is a name which is almost known by everybody if it's in tier 21 it's a metro city tier 1 city tier 2 two, two cities but everybody now know modular kitchen yeah there may be some misconception about what exactly the meaning of modular kitchen because there are a lot of people into the market like small size business people or carpenters and those who are actually not uh completely educated in in terms about the all the terms about the modular kitchen they may create some of the confusion in uh, into the mind of the customer but i think slowly everybody is now you know more and more uh connected with the internet and they are you know well aware that what is going across the, the world so the the modular kitchen is a very very popular term but if you if you ask me what is coming next the next coming thing is the modular wardrobe which is going to be an equal size equal size of the industry very soon in india because now wherever you are uh, selling a modular kitchen the the similar home is also asking now for the modular wardrobes also but there are more products which one can easily make from the modular uh, factory made furnitures they are like modular beds foyer unit shoe racks tv units crockery units study tables kids furniture there is a lot of lot of things one can you know uh, are already they are already um, uh, one can make into the modular uh, factory and with the with the technique of what the modular furniture works apart from this home applications the modular furniture can be used heavily used or already are into the use of the office furnitures they are into the office tables workstation cabinets and and there are more application like modular doors are now available modular windows partition system ceiling system space saving furniture these all products are factory made modular furniture so the industry is in terms of size and numbers is huge the industry itself application is a huge and there are there are, there is a there's a great uh various type of technologies are used into this industry the best part about the people who are into the engineering and management and the, the people like in, into the construction management interior designing they all love uh, the the way things can be done with the help of technology because technology will bring precision they reduce the timeline they increase the efficiency they increase, increase the accuracy so this whole industry is heavily uh, equipped with a lot of technologies if you just start talking about the designing part itself that's a very fantastic uh, uh, journey of a designing and there are a lot of uh, technological aspects attached to the uh, you know uh, all the uh, designing part of the modular kitchen for an example uh, the cad everybody is aware about the cad which is a very very high tech precise softwares Uh, where one can make the design of 2d 3d's then the augmented reality virtual reality all these things are now used into the designing where a designer can show the product or the design to the customer into the line diagram or the 3d or the augmented or the virtual reality formats so this is one of the just basic use of the technology which is uh, heavily used into this industry at the same time uh, once somebody make the design it is not enough you need accurate pricing once the pricing is accurate you need to process that product whatever design you made you need a perfect uh, machine machine uh, conversion of that design so that 
the production can understand or the manufacturing part can be you know well converted of those drawing so there is a lot of softwares like imos and there is a lot of other cad and cam softwares which are used for the modeling they are used for the pricing they are used for the order conversion processing converting the 2d 3d files into the machine readable files and then this whole information goes to some manufacturing unit which are again equipped with very heavily uh, technological uh, equipped machines like beam saws like panel saws drilling machine boring machine edge bending machine packaging tracking machine and all and installation and all this the complete chain the complete series is is completely heavily you know uh, equipped with a lot of technological aspects so uh, it's very interesting uh, field to work for that and once you go into this field and once you see that there are many appliances many hardware runners channels hinges each and every component is a one fine piece of technology and one fine piece of precise engineering and that's the way the overall combination of the product which is which is a combination of drawing a visualization a good processing a best pricing and then a right way of optimization of the material movement of the panel the use of the barcode for the accurate uh, uh, production and then the lot of heavily um, automated machines and then together this high end softwares uh, and hardware and accessories make the complete product itself so interesting and so useful at the same same time so precise precisely in terms of the dimension functionality wise it's too good and it it is a heavy, heavily researched and uh, designed product like modular kitchen wardrobes these all are nowadays they are uh, ergonomically correct products made as per the size of the user requirement of the user so it is a very interesting field it is very interesting field into the venture it is very interesting field into the learn and there are ample opportunities in terms of jobs and positions available into these industries like if you just take in basic example of one can start from the site site visit executives who just go to some site and take the accurate measurement from there a kitchen designer or a interior designer or a kitchen furniture designer or you can say a visualizer business development executive a showroom uh, designer a studio head a cad expert a cam expert order processing executive production designer category manager production head uh, uh, machine operators installers site supervisor product manager and then at the at the end an entrepreneur who is uh, managing all these positions there are ample opportunities into this market one can go one can see and you know somebody can uh, somebody can once uh, try to uh, venture into it uh, it's like an ocean and there's a lot of uh, success is also available because uh, this is almost like you know a uh, growing nascent market the industry is also nascent but too big too big for uh, to serve the people and there are there are a lot of opportunities available so uh, here i just want to you know uh, tell you guys that what actually the size of uh, the model kitchen industry and the total model interiors i just want want to use this opportunity right now because uh, you all guys may be the potential future designers or future executives into this field or you may want to be a part of this industry uh, i am available for all of you guys to serve my education my experience and whatever the contacts i have so uh, the organizer of this program they are uh, well connected with me and they can you know obviously gives you the all connections all the information which is required and you guys also can approach me with the help of them to uh, know more about it uh, right now i am serving a company which is one of the india's biggest interior designing company with the name of livespace.com at the live space also there are lot of opportunities of available so you can keep uh, be in touch with you know our instagram and linkedin posts where the lot of new positions are available and you can utilize uh, those informations for a better career lot of jobs opportunity and anything you want to learn about this product this field uh, i am available i will share my email id which can be circulated to you i, I will share my phone number which can be 
uh, you can use for the connect to make this whole product the modular kitchen which i feel is still uh, very unorganized i uh, did a small um, exercise because when i i almost did uh, interview of almost like more than 5 to 6000 uh, people in, uh, in till date in my the whole career and what i found that everybody who are you know are either are from some uh, design schools or some architect schools they are lacking in terms of the exact knowledge of the model kitchen they know about the design they know about Uh, the cad and all these things but they actually don't know what exactly the model kitchen is and from where it comes and uh, what kind of various uh, technology and concepts are used how to understand the customer requirement and it is a are a very deep subject it is very deep subjects so uh, one should need very detailed understanding uh, guys i came up with a book which is uh, you can say it's a ready reckoner uh, of of this industry and it is one of the first book which is available uh, for the indian market and it is a dedicated to design for the indian homes so it is uh, it is using all the uh, it has all the information one can you know use to understand the complete modular kitchen and the book is also uh, easily available on amazon uh, i will also i was also in the discussion with uh, the organizers uh, that uh, the purpose of uh, publishing is this book is uh, not to earn some money but uh, to you know create an awareness about this product and give an tool to people who want really want to learn about this product so uh, i will share the details that how somebody want to you know uh, buy this book uh, on a very discounted pricing because uh, the purpose is to share the knowledge not to earn money out of this kind of books but yeah i can assure you that the the book is very handy guides to understand almost everything about the model kitchen in in this industry so i think here i need to um, take a break and hand over back to uh, uh, user thank you for the opportunity and thank i'm always available for such kind of talks and always available to guide your your students and whenever we have any opportunity we will definitely Uh, invite you your people your students to uh, work together with the live space thank you again thank you everybody thank you mr gopal your keynote address was very insightful lot of engineers and the people may not be knowing what is the scope available in this industry and they are afraid because in the colleges the education is given only the concrete reinforcement and shattering these three elements only there apart from this lot of other materials and a lot of other things are happening which is uh, which is not included in the syllabus that we are bridging the, the cmt is bridging with the innovative lectures and innovative training programs uh, uh, last in last 3 years itself in this particular industry we have placed around 250 plus people only by structured uh, training programs uh, because uh, the uh, requirement from the client is like that uh, we have to complete the project in a given time for that the project planning is must and understanding the materials and the specifications and other things this book what you have written definitely it will be a eye opener for them uh, for the indian context because each and every home and, uh, is going to be uh, using this materials and uh, the modular industry is uh, definitely getting uh, expanded because it is a totally unorganized industry and uh, you can't get a experience to people of uh, more than 5 or 10 years in this particular field it is a young uh, industry as far as for india and uh, each and every home goes for renovation and for the and uh, everyone wants their hard earned money to be used best way and they should need a good home to live and after this covid also the people are taking the two bedroom people are going to th- three bedroom to have the home offices and all and the offices also keep on changing a uh, lot of mnc's are coming to india the commercial interiors also is picking up like anything and everyone is keeping the rent in their mind and the project to be completed in shortest duration including all the stakeholders because lot of services are included in this particular area which needs to be coordinated and in forthcoming series we have wanted to cover that particular uh, session also uh, your uh, session was uh, very much uh, useful for the people and i thank on behalf thank of cmta 
uh, for sparing your time. So, uh, we recommend. I am available for the same day for any other sessions also, and you can you can your your students can always reach to me for anything regarding the subject which I have a little understanding. So any more okay. any more kind of detailed subject sessions if they want, they are welcome. I am available. Sure, thank you, Mr. Gopal, for coming in and. Uh, very much uh, yeah, the program was very nice and your lecture was very nice and it will give a good knowledge uh, to the students and they will pick up from this and the nearly 350 plus people are there in the youtube they are also watching this uh, series uh, thank you on behalf of cmta now i welcome mr niranjan uh, he is a project planner at uh, from home lane today he has joined with us uh, to share his experiences his ex company was home lane he worked as a project planner for a Hyderabad region, and he, he has graduated from IIT Kharagpur, and he is basically a civil engineer, and he is a hardcore uh, interior specialist, and he is, yeah, Mr. Niranjan, welcome for this program. So audience are waiting for uh, to listen to you. Yeah. Uh, Niranjan, you can switch on your video. Yes. Hi everyone. I think there is some problem with this uh, video, so that's the reason I did not start it. So okay, okay. Uh, uh, fine. Hi everyone. Uh, Gobal sir, uh, thank you for your uh, valuable speech. When you are speaking, I can see that 15 years of uh, experience uh, within that 15-20 minutes, whatever you have uh, spoken. So it is very, uh, very. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm blessed to be on this uh, on this platform, uh, sharing a screen with you. So, yeah. Uh, coming to the audience now, uh, whatever uh, uh, the experts have spoken about, uh, Gobal sir or uh, uh, Ashok has spoken about. It is I will be uh, sharing the similar kind of experience uh, what I had in this interior industry, as well as I just wanted to start with uh, uh, a small presentation which I have prepared for this. Uh, yeah, you can share your screen. Yeah. So, so here it is. Uh, so we will be uh, like I will be speaking about uh, is a few things uh, like about uh, the gist of the industry, like why this industry is growing and uh, uh, wh what are the what are the people's expectations and in next 15, 20 minutes and the scope on the industry and uh, Engineer, uh, engineers opportunities uh, in this industry and what the industry is expecting from the engineers. So that, that, that is what uh, defines the complete uh, course that we are talking about in this uh, session. This is a launch session. So in the next six, uh, uh, six sessions, we will be looking into uh, the major uh, prospects where we can learn and perform in this industry. So coming to the first thing, uh, so what why this modular industry uh, is growing because uh, they, they, there is some certain demand for this right so why uh, why there is a demand it is like if i am if i am a uh, customer i want i wanted uh, my home to be very much beautiful i wanted this uh, uh, i wanted my work to be done at a quicker uh, quicker rate and i just wanted it at a lower price and the quality of work must be nice and uh, then during the course of work, the, I must not, I must not uh, face any uh, problem uh, at the time of installation or at the time of uh, production phase. And any type of uh, uh, miscommunications must not happen at the time of installation. And I must be happy throughout the uh, throughout the phase, like throughout um, during the time of construction of my house and my house interiors. I must not feel like a headache. So I must feel like, yeah, uh, this is this is going smoother, and that is that is where that is where uh, all the all the industry top leaders are uh, uh, working on and uh, grabbing the market. As um, as we all know that uh, that this is an unorganized market. So uh, this is this is this is what is the major USP where all the bigger players are uh, working around. And one more thing is like I just wanted uh, one point of solution. I, I just want I just want all the solutions at one point when I when I'm approaching uh, 
uh, either it can be leaf space, either it can be home lane or whatever it is. I just expect everything uh, to be sorted at one position, yet at one location, so that I need not go run here and there. So that, that is what the customer uh, customer expectations is. So generally, uh, wh what we are talking about this uh, five lakh homes that are that are coming up every year. Uh, who are the house owners? These house owners are basically the job holders, right? So these job holders, basically, they, they don't have much time to go here and there, run here and there and get the works done. So they just wanted the quicker solutions. That is where um, this market, organized market is uh, standing on. And it, very soon, it, it is going to capture. I think it, it, is, it is not more than you know, 5 to 10% is of the uh, market, the complete market is organized. The rest of the things are like simply gone for the carpenters and other other you know, uh, other other sources. So it, it, it is like how well we can uh, give a hustle-free experience to the customer and uh, how faster we can deliver it and at what price we are delivering it. So these are the customer expectations. These are the broader customer expectations that we are uh, that we are uh, talk, uh, uh, based on. So what is the scope? So just I have gone through uh, one of uh, uh, one of the uh, one, of, one of the survey which was done in uh, 2018. So where in 2018 it is like 206 million dollars uh, is the uh, market uh, market uh, value at that point of time. Uh, like but coming to 2024, the projection is about uh, eight, uh, 862 million million dollars. That means you can just think like how uh, how the market is growing about at a 27 percentage growth rate uh, co component uh, CAGR. It is like compounded annual growth rate, uh, 27 percent of compounded annual growth rate. So if you can see, uh, just look at the picture. I just want to uh, uh, let us not go into the numbers. Let us just look at the uh, look at the picture. You can uh, understand like how the industry is. Uh, growing and what the uh, what are the uh, scope for the growth in this industry? When the industry is growing, it will not grow it on on its own. It needs people, it needs technology, and it needs uh, so much of uh, other inputs, managerial skills as well. So uh, this is how the growth will be. Like uh, if you can see in 2014, it is uh, it is like bay, uh, minimum, and if you are seeing in uh, 2024, it is going to be like almost uh, four times. Uh, four times of what it is there in 2014. And if you speak about uh, 2020, uh, like 2019, uh, don't consider 2020 because of the COVID-19 and all this stuff. But if you consider 2019, uh, if you can see it is almost like getting doubled, doubled by 2024. Like either it can be like South region, West region, uh, in uh, all the four, uh, four sides of, uh, uh, of India. This is basically for the Indian market. So uh, hardly, uh, uh, my guess uh, is like almost all, almost all the industries have reached up to 70, 80% of, um, of their businesses um, uh, post COVID. That is uh, right from May, they, uh, most, of, most of the businesses have started. And again, uh, they, were, they started reaching up to their normal marks. Even, even if you can see Brigade, uh, Brigade is one of the, big, uh, one of the biggest uh, reality. Uh, they, they also uh, came to the uh, like, uh, good uh, good standards in one of your, uh, in one of the interviews they were mentioning clearly like they were about to reach um, about about to reach their uh, uh, pre covid levels that means uh, within a, a year of time uh, most of most of the businesses will be settled uh, and this covid effect will be like uh, will be uh, minimal and then we are maybe uh, the whatever we are seeing for 2024 that might go up to like 2026 but yes uh, if you see the scroll, uh, growth, it is like double. Uh, uh, Pre-COVID levels. That means uh, within a, a year of time, uh, most, of, most of the business will be settled uh, and this COVID effect will be... So, yeah. Uh, next, uh, next is like what uh, is an engineer role uh, in this uh, complete uh, growth? It is like in order to fulfill this demand, we need uh, technology, and technologically driven engineers and management professionals. These are uh, these three are uh, the core uh, driving points for uh, for any of the industry to uh, to grow. 
and when there is a demand uh, projected demand of almost double of what is there in 2019 definitely yes there is a huge scope for all these three verticals to uh, ha- hire the people and uh, and give the give a chance for new thinking actually and this is this is where like uh, entrepreneurs uh, take place and yeah and the scope of engineers will be not confined to one particular department uh, it will be like it can be software related bim app development uh, Using like IMO cut list, two D cut list, and these things are also there. Where uh, there is uh, there is a huge scope of development. There is a huge scope of development, and then coming to uh, the production part, yeah, that IMO and all this part is uh, into the production, and even production will not happen on its own. It ne- it needs its own uh, own uh, QC engineers, its own production managers, its own uh, factory managers. and uh, these kind of um, new roles and uh, existing roles as well as maybe uh, a new role might, uh, might be coming up uh, within the production as well in the production lines as well and uh, not only this there is one more small segment uh, where uh, as of now all the uh, all the companies are looking into is warehouse and logistics is also uh, becoming a part and parcel of this uh, of this uh, industry maybe it is going uh, maybe it is going out of um, Uh, for a 3pl or a third party a third party logistics most of, most of this industry goes for a third party logistics but still uh, there is a scope for internal tracking and internal uh, internal uh, improvements in terms of warehousing and logistics for this uh, for this particular industry and next is like once the product is ready it's it comes again to the installation part where uh, we uh, need installation managers project managers site inspectors uh, we need uh, a measurement uh, measurement guys we need more designers we need uh, we need more community managers and yeah when there is a scope for growth yeah the number of people uh, who are about to manage it smartly who are about to ma- manage it smartly are uh, expected to join this industry and definitely for sure uh, you people uh, like i am expecting like may- maybe uh, not all of uh, all of you but at least uh, maybe uh, some of you will be joining this industry uh, at some somewhere in this four uh, four departments and yeah so uh, we are talking about uh, what what is the scope uh, for the engineers in this uh, in this industry but at the same time there is an expectation for the industry uh, from the upcoming engineers it is not like uh, i have completed my diploma or my degree and then uh, definitely i will apply for an uh, for an inter- uh, to an engineering industry for a, some job role related to either it can be qc or it can be like project manager or it can be like site measurement guy so uh, but yes the industry is now uh, expecting certain skills uh, from the people it is like it is like um, uh, ready made products so basically uh, if which uh is not at all possible without an experience um but yeah but there must be there must be a structured thinking in all the engineers which is only possible through certain training sessions or going through books uh going through books and studying about the experiences uh which is very much important uh for the upcoming uh, engineers and uh, second one is the soft skills uh people are expecting soft skills because even if you are joining at the lowest um or at the uh, lowest pa- uh, part of uh, a part of the industry uh, you will be expected certain soft skills uh, it can be like a google sheet it can be like a uh, how to run a, a small program or how to run uh, what do you say some other uh, bim tool or something like that so it is like a visualization tool or uh, msp um, microsoft uh, microsoft uh, uh, projects and these kind of small small things are also expected bare, bare minimal uh, knowledge about these and these applications uh, application of these uh, soft, uh, soft skills is also expected from the people and yeah good managerial uh, levels are also expected from the industry this is for this is for the budding uh, budding guys who are already there in the industry and uh, trying to grow 
there are certain uh, managerial skills that are expected if you are uh, uh, having an experience of one or two years uh, they, definitely uh, uh, people will expect certain management uh, ma managerial uh, traits in the in the people so it is like yeah this is what uh, as a whole the industry is expecting uh, from the uh, young engineers so this is uh, so the, uh, for these uh, we need to go through certain uh, trainings and certain uh, maybe uh, uh, talk with more people and get more knowledge about this as uh, this industry is not having a particular way or particular uh, standard courses at uh, in um, either uh, in engineering so it's not the it's not a, stand, a standard thing uh, for uh, engineers as um, ashok has clearly mentioned it is like a uh, booming industry has, it is too young to get uh, to get such kind of courses into the engineering as well uh, so maybe uh, we are expecting very soon like uh, maybe uh, uh, by 2024 or something like that we will be having short courses in engineering as well uh, where people will be understanding this kind of industry so yeah so this is, this is all uh, i just wanted to give a brief gist of uh, all the things that i have in my mind and uh, yeah this is what i have so thank you niranjan for your uh, detailed presentation what is uh, available in this industry what are the things they should uh, look for and uh, recently also we have taken uh, this uh, industry after the covid also lot of engineers being hired what are the positions you mentioned definitely some skill sets are required for the uh, budding engineers one is the communication skill you rightly told understanding the drawings one is uh, first they need to understand the drawings they need to understand the scope of work and the project management at a time three to four projects an engineer needs to work for that he has to do the project planning which work has to be where the resources needs to be allocated in which sequence because uh, not only one particular uh, work will not be going at the project there will be multiple works will be uh, going in the projects at a time because uh, if you take any residential uh, project the construction may be typically happens 24 to 30 months on that uh, the interior part uh, you can say two to three months they want uh, the customer wanted it okay the structure they may take uh, 15 to 18 months and the finishes uh, hardly they give six uh, six to nine months for all the soft finishes means uh, the hot finishes and soft finishes both the flooring painting and all our people uh, this is the typical uh, construction companies working style and the time availability for the fag end of the people the last uh, people who is coming into the particular house for the construction the interior guys will get limited time everyone wants to expedite uh, they will fix the uh, what is that uh, grow fresh housewarming ceremony and they will back work and they will come and they will tell the boss i needed in 40 days uh, within 30 days and they fix the date and they appoint the milestone that is called milestone they fill, uh, fix a milestone they will not deviate before that work has to be happened. This is what we, and uh, there are professional companies like uh, Live Space, Home Lane, lot many companies are there. Presently, they are uh, doing very good work and uh, the material wastages being arrested uh, due to the proper planning and uh, the materials are properly utilized and the time is properly managed and uh, ultimately the cost, since they are doing in masses and bulk, and a systematic way, the cost reduction also is there for the customer. And the customer ultimately gets what he wanted. I suggest everyone to take uh, this uh, five day series. Along with that, uh, Mr. Gopal has already written a book. That book also we will, uh, about that book, we will uh, send the link also. Mr. Gopal will be sharing the link. Who are interested, you can purchase that book. And uh, we are conducting so many programs uh, on the interior, not only interiors, in construction management, infrastructure, green buildings, lot many BIM, including BIM, CMT is conducting various programs. You can uh, go through our website, uh, www.cmtaonline.com. And you choose your career, what you wanted. You don't have regrets. First, you choose, yes. A lot of people think that boss, uh, the modeler, uh, whether the scope is available or not, whether the future is there or not. Yes, of course, you taste everything and you select after then. That's the reason we are conducting various programs. People from various industries, they are coming, they are updating their, uh, what is happening in their industry. 
and good companies are there good people are there to support you even gopal sir has told uh, he will give the email id and the phone number whoever is necessary you can uh, approach him for the placements the trainings and uh, here sir is going to give a uh, one detailed lecture in the uh, program forthcoming programs i recommend all the students uh, to gain your knowledge the knowledge only will you will make you great and uh, i have given the feedback in youtube around uh, 250 plus students are there i have given the feedback link also uh, 275 is the present people watching and uh, yeah of course e certificate you will get uh, very soon uh, don't worry about certificate w worry about knowledge yes, certificates you will get okay so certificates will not be uh, much issue the knowledge only people are earning like anything i have placed nearly 200 plus candidates in these companies in last two years and they are happy to hire the people because they know the drawings uh, they understood the drawings they understood the materials they know the entire process in the, what is happening in the factory and the quality control it helps the companies also cmt is bridging the same uh, bridging the industry and bridging the academic people and uh, definitely it will be useful for this five days session you attend after then you decide where you want to join uh, we are running infrastructure course also uh, interior uh, these are free webinars we are conducting you will get a basic idea if you want to enroll for detailed course that is also available the same experts are taking the detailed courses also how to take the measurements how to design the things the designing also we are teaching on in the interior forefront you can take up and uh, it is up to you how you take because the opportunities are pan india and a lot of mnc coming uh, companies are coming to india to launch their products ikea is there lot many companies are there they recently urban ladder also acquired by reliance and there will be definitely there will be lot of opportunities and there since the scope is there you can see the reliance is buying a interior company and they are into this division like this lot of companies are spreading their wings and definitely it will be useful for you i thank on behalf of cmta for the audience who are coming here for this program do attend this program the intimation will be provided by email or in the telegram group telegram group link everyone knows the telegram group link and uh, next session when it will be happening we will update on the social media and you can watch in uh, the linkedin also we can individually send the emails if it is uh, we are sending the emails also some of the emails will go to the swam uh, spam box you can uh, watch our linkedin page where we regularly post various program today also in the parallelly one program drones in construction it is happening we are giving the varied experience to the people because the technology only will save you and uh, there is opportunities also available three days drones in construction presently happening uh, four o'clock it is getting completed past uh, nine months we are doing this program on drones in construction every month three days uh, the engineers are learning because the uh, drones also imp very much important uh, these days because the progress monitoring is happening large projects they are hiring the drones infrastructure project they are hiring the drones but where are the drone engineers uh, drone pilots where are available we have to educate them none of the curriculum is having uh, uh, about uh, these upcoming technologies we have to take uh, the, your college education will help you little bit maybe 50% another 50% you have to gain through internships through the trainings through your seniors or through from the experts uh, and uh, these days uh, the internet has connected everyone see mr gopal is from udaipur he is connected mr uh, niranjan from hyderabad myself uh, presently in chennai otherwise i will be in bangalore so uh, everyone is connected and uh, there is uh, enough uh, you have to utilize there are opportunities are much you have to choose and utilize that the, that's what i want to say with this uh, i thank both the speakers uh, mr gopal and uh, mr niranjan for coming for this uh, uh, program and uh, giving an insight on the uh, for, uh, for for the presentations yes presentations will be available in forthcoming session this session is mainly focusing on scope availability in this industry that is the topic for today yes someone wanted to speak please yeah kartik you wanted to speak no mr gopal you want to say something
Oh, audience if you have any yeah. questions you can uh, write in the chat box i can uh, inform the speakers they can address yes uh, uh, all yeah. the questions are welcome uh, ashok anybody want to ask anything uh, they welcome even yeah. you can send me the mail also or yes, yes 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 next session date and time we will post in the telegram group i am getting a next lecture everyone is <laughs> asking next lecture their, their their comments are wonderful they appreciated the program and they got some insights about this uh, industry and uh, fresh engineer next next uh, next lecture they are curious about next lecture definitely we will discuss with our team definitely we will uh, post you in our telegram we have a especially one telegram group uh, broadcast group for the interior people we will post the upcoming programs over there though, so you will get benefited of it it's the handwork and knowledge that pays you a good engineer lot of very good comments are there how can we success in the kitchen design field yes for that only the program is being arranged we will, you once you attend all the five session you will get an idea and you read the book also this book is available in amazon uh, i will share the link once uh, i will check right now i will show in the screen itself in amazon if you go yeah uh, so ashok uh, for the benefit of the student of this particular webinar uh, i am yeah. uh, i am encouraging you know to uh, give you i am giving you a coupon code to you which you circulate on your uh, on your uh, uh, whatever the internal platform you have yeah, because yeah. because on amazon amazon it is it is a, it is an it is an costly book it's a thousand bucks cost yeah, yeah. but uh, for those people who are listening here and part of being these all are students i and i don't want to earn from students so we are giving you the the book on the uh, you know the um, cost of the um, uh, publishing so you that's can... just 400 rupees and then we will give you a code and the link which you can circulate on your telegram so that they can go and buy to that link because on amazon it is going to be the mrp so i don't want the students to buy on that mrp okay wonderful uh, mr gopal has explained that the book in amazon the cost is more and uh, gopal sir has came forward and he told here the production cost he will give the uh, book and the code will be shared in the telegram group and uh, be part of telegram group watch the code and you book your uh, the book uh, to your home only so that uh, you can learn and uh, thank you mr gopal thank you mr niranjan we will end up this session very so much questions okay thank you thank Thanks, you guys uh, joining this program yeah thank you everyone thank you for joining thank you thank you just i am ending the meeting